Welcome to LearnHowToQuilt.com's Feather Star series. So far in these free tutorials, you've learned some quick methods to make feathers and then found out how to sew the corner and side units. In today's video, you'll learn about these kite shapes and how to sew them into your quilt. Hope you stay tuned. You'll want to download these free handouts of the kite template. I've left the links below. This kite shape is almost 12 inches long and it doesn't fit on one page. So you'll have to cut out both of these shapes and then tape them together. You can glue these to a piece of cardboard or trace them on template plastic. Place your template on the wrong side of the fabric. Make sure you line up these edges with the straight of grain and cross grain. Now this is a scrap piece of the fabric. I don't have the selvage to sort of show me where the grain lines are, but I can see these vertical and horizontal threads here. So I want these edges to follow those lines. After tracing around the template, you can use your rotary cutter to cut out the shape like I did here, or you can cut it out with scissors. Cut four of these kite shapes with the straight of grain in this corner, and then four with the straight of grain in this corner. I find it easiest just to take your template, cut this stack, and then flip it over to cut those four. After I cut out the kite shapes, I usually like to double check my fabric choices. I lay out my completed pieces, and then I try different centers and or triangles around the centers. Sometimes I'll also try out different kite fabrics. You don't have to cut these out to get an idea of what it'll look like. Just place chunks of fabric in these areas. These triangles around the octagon are a little bit larger than the feather triangles. Four of these triangles will go here. The other four will go here. For best results, you want a straight of grain on these four triangles to go here so it stabilizes this bias area of the center. The straight of grain will be on the longest side so you'll need to cut quarter square triangles. So you'll cut a square seven and a quarter then you'll cut that square on both diagonals. The grain lines are on each one of these edges. For these triangles you don't have to worry about stabilizing this center piece because the grain lines are here and here, so you can have a bias edge here. You'll need to cut these as half square triangles where the straight of grains in the corner and the bias goes through the middle. So you'll need to cut two sets of these. You see that both of these triangles are the same size, but where the grain lines are are going to make a difference. In today's video, we're going to use these half square triangles. So I'm going to put these here so I can keep them apart. And then these quarter square triangles, I'll put away for later. Lay out your piece like this. Take one side unit and one kite with the straight of grain and cross grain in that corner. And then take another kite with the straight of grain and cross grain in this corner and one of those half square triangles. Put right sides together making sure to match up this corner and this corner. Stitch a quarter inch seam across here. Here's my quarter inch seam and then I press towards the kite. I did the same thing on this piece. I press towards the kite. Now I'm going to put right sides together, making sure to match this intersection. Those seams should butt up right against each other and pin. I'll finish pinning this section and then take it to the sewing machine. After sewing, I press to this kite. This side seam and this side seam should be straight along with the top edge here. You should have about a quarter of an inch between this point and the edge. Here's my quilt so far. Almost complete. Yay! In the next video, you'll see how to cut out and sew the center and then sew the quilt together. You also get instructions for turning this into a tree skirt. Hope to see you soon. Thanks for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. 
Please like, subscribe, and share our videos with your friends. Remember, if you're trying to find us on the internet, type in learnhowtoquilt.com. Don't forget the .com. Using the .com will get you right to our site.